Okay, it's open. So differentiate map and for each with an example. How to differentiate uh, for each and map? Basically, for each does not return anything, whereas map returns a new array uh, with returned element. And whereas uh, for each mutates the original array, but map does not. And the example I can take is let's say there is a num array. Is one, two, three. These are the elements in it. And uh, I want to double each element of this array. So let's do it using map first. So for that, I'm going to say result is equal to num array dot map. Then element, I'll use the arrow function here. Into two. Okay. And now let's print this result of map. So if you go to console, okay, so here you can see it is two, four, six. It has doubled it. Okay, if I try the same thing with, uh, let's say result two with four each, num array dot four each and four each, uh, takes a value uh, index and an array. Okay, so let me write value index and array here, and it's inside for each. So let's write it like this and an error function again. And then I can write. Uh, this array at index i is equal to whatever value is there into two. Okay, so here also I'm uh, doubling the values, and if I console log it right now, resource uh, not resource result two. Then I cannot differentiate them, so let me write in the string here so that we can differentiate we can clearly see that what's going on and here i'm going to write rest two and rest two okay so now you can see in rest which is from coming from the map method the value has been doubled whereas rest two is undefined which means uh this for each does not return anything it returns undefined okay also if i print the num array here console dot log the num array then you see it is two four six num array is two but it should not be two four six because map does not mutate the original array okay because for each also okay for each has also run it's which has muted these. So let me comment this for each for the time being. Okay, now you see the result is 2468. The value has been doubled by the map method and the num array, which is your original array, is still 1, 2, 3. Okay, now if I comment map and uh, uncomment for each, okay, and print num array here as well. Now see. Uh, result is undefined because for it is not written anything. Whereas num array has become two four six. Previously it was one two three, but now it is two four six because for each mutates the original array. Okay. So what is this keyword? Can you write an example of it? Uh, this keyword is uh, refers to an object which is executing the current code, current piece of the code. To write an example, let me okay, let me delete everything here, and uh, to write an example for this keyword, I'm going to take an object. Let's call it a person object, and let's say name is Rahul. And then 
is 27. I can write a method, let's say print name and is or rather I'll go with print info. Okay, it would be a function. And now inside this function, uh, so this keyword will refer to this object. So for example, I can write console.log this dot okay let me write a string template here my name is this dot name and is is um dollar this dot is and uh, now when i call this method print info it should print this dot name as rahul and age is 27 so in the console you can see it is my name is rahul and age is 27. okay next question is create a age input box and display error message if entered age is less than 18. okay for react okay let me open a new Code send box for that. It's a bit slow today. Okay, so to create a new input box, what I'm going to do is. Okay, so for this example, I'm just uh, using this app component only. I could create multiple reusable components and all that. But for this, I'm just going to create uh, the entire logic here only. So let's say we have a input tag here. And uh, so we want to have two state. One to store the value entered by the user and the other one to store the error. Okay. So what I'm going to do is import yet then use state on react and here I'm going to write text set text new state initial value would be empty string and I also want to store the error message which so the error would be always same so don't need to store it in a state i can just hard code that maybe outside of the function somewhere here the error message is must be greater than 18. okay full stop I should go inside actually Yes, a course semicolon is required. And then what I can do is um, okay, I need one more state actually to check whether there is an error or not. Is error and set error use state and initial value will be false. And below the input i can write is error then display error message otherwise null okay, that is for the error part now when the user actually types the value here so first of all we need the value which would be text 
and whenever user enters anything this on change event will be triggered and i can create a new method called handle text input and let's create this method now cone handle text input here it will get an event and uh, what i can do is okay, first of all let me quickly check what i'm getting in the event dot target dot value in the console if i type something here on change listener to be a function okay actually it should be a single packets now if i type something here i can see the value here but it is not persisting it for that i can write set text e dot target dot value now it should persist the data so if i type three four here okay it is persisting that great and now i can check if e dot target dot value is less than 18 i'm gonna say set error is true okay so it will set the error to true if the age is less than 18 and it will display the error so if i make it three it says it is must be greater than 18 and if i make it greater than 18 okay actually it should go away for that what i'm going to do is basically i need to reset it so whenever the user enters any value i can reset it set error to false with that it should be fixed so now if i type one two three okay let me type 23 where it is gone if it is two it is there if i type 5 